Yo guys, this video is brought to you by Motion Array. Motion Array is a fantastic little site. They have over 80,000 post-production assets from music to background videos, titles, lower thirds. And what's really nice, they also have some for DaVinci Resolve, which I'm a user of DaVinci Resolve. You got Adobe After Effects, Premiere, they got you covered. Definitely, links down in the description below. Take a look at that. Other than that, let's get to the video. Yo guys, in this video, I'm gonna be doing some B-roll all using my cell phone. We're gonna be using MC Pro and we're going all handheld. Stay tuned. some basic b-roll shots i'm going to be using uh, mc pro here and i got this uh little uh, vlogging kit from usky vision which has these flexi legs on it so they sun that out it's a very cool little kit take a look i'll have the link down in the description so that's going to be our subject of this video as far as the b-roll shots and again i'm going to do everything handheld in my other video i did everything with the tripod but a lot of you guys were asking handheld stuff so i'm going to show you basically keeping my elbows tucked into my body really tight holding my, firm, my phone nice and grip. And I'm just gonna try to do some general movements, but I'm gonna try to use my whole body just versus your arms. Away from your body, the phone could be very wobbly and shaky. So we're going ahead and do that. All right guys, so this is my basic setup here. I've got the kit here. I've got this little Usky Vision light from one of my other kits that I also got from them, uh, which I'm gonna be using to get just a little, if I need some more light here, uh, I'm gonna be able to use this here to help out. And then I've got this giant soft box light here. Again, just a cheap little Amazon light I bought here for 30 bucks. I'll have the links down in the description for that. So I got this light. I'm gonna bring it a lot closer because I wanna have as much light as possible. It's easier for me to take away light using an ND filter or maybe stopping down a couple of uh, frames on the uh, on the shutter speed. So more light is better, less light is kind of worse. So I'm flooding this area with light and then I'm gonna kind of minus out what I don't need. And then um, I'll probably just get in here and just get some B-roll of this in the case first. And we'll have the case open up like this. I'll be closed and then get the top and then get some of the detail stuff inside. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, why don't you smash that like button for me? Thanks. First thing I like to do is close out all my apps and then I like to run this app cleaner in the background. It kind of cl it closes any unnecessary apps. So we got that fresh start. So I'm going to quickly show you my settings here. What I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using uh, MS Log 100 with uh, the gamut is going to be, I think, a uh, wide gamut here. I'm going to be using that. And then uh, my white balance, I mean, it's, it's around up here in the top. It's showing 60, uh, 6,600, so I basically have mine also set at 6,500, so close enough, right? So basically, that's my settings that I'm going to be using. It is a little bit blue, I can tell here, a little bit, but I can I can correct that inside of uh, DaVinci Resolve, so I'm not too worried about that. And then I'll go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and set up and get ready for my first shot. Again, is this going to be probably maybe doing something like this, just a, like a little orbit shot, just kind of showing where we're coming at and like the whole scene, or maybe I think I might even do something like this here or pulling into a back, I'm not sure, we'll see. Now one key feature that I like to use when I'm, I'm working on with uh, MC Pro is the false color option. It really helps me to get my exposure right. And right now you can clearly see everything here is uh, red and over clip. So I already know I probably don't need this light. We'll kill that. And then that already brings it into the gray area, which here it still looks like we got a lot of light coming in. So again, it's easier for me to take away light versus trying to, uh, to you know, be too dark. So um, I'm probably going to go ahead and maybe shutter speed if I knock that up. You know, I might even actually go ahead and bring in my, in my ND filter here and uh, control a little bit more. Guys, the music that you guys are listening to in this video is provided by Artlist. I'll have a link down below. You can get two additional free months added to your account. So definitely take a look at that. Links down below. Alrighty, I like the results that I'm getting with the ND filter here. I got this the moment ND filter here on the front. It's definitely uh, giving me a, a better balance. That's what it looks like there. And then if I go my false color. So 
we're a little bit in the hot, but it's fine. It's gonna work out well. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get in my final position and I kinda wanna be like this here and then I'm gonna set my focus for my final position, which is about there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and back out. So I'm gonna do a quick rehearsal. I'm gonna kinda start here and then I'm just gonna kinda turn in and then boom, land on Usky Vision. If you notice here, you can see my arms. They're sucked up against my body and I'm gonna be using my body as my main control here. Not like using my arms and my hands, trying to lock all this off to one piece and just use my whole body to kind of pivot in there and, and move around. Here we go, let's go ahead and get the shot. One more time here, let me find out where I need to stop or focus. And I think I'm gonna stop kind of right about there. Then I'm gonna back out and action. I didn't like that one, wasn't smooth enough. Start again, and action. One more time, a little too slow. All right, here's my next shot. I basically have my phone mounted up against this little dollar tripod I bought from the dollar store, but I wanna get a, a, a static shot here this time me pulling the zipper down so I have it set up where it's angled down here and the focus is about right here in the middle so as I pull the zipper down it's kind of like a POV of the zipper coming down so I'm gonna get that shot here and I had I had to bring this light here down a little bit closer because it was a little bit dark here like that so there we go so let's go ahead and hit record action more time. Actually, I'm going to come around this time. And one more time. This time I'm actually going to hit the camera. All right, this time I want to get a shot where I'm kind of like opening it up here. One of those little trendy David or I forgot the guy's name. Some of you little YouTuber, I want, uh, Daniel Schiffer. One of those little trendy like type shots here. So I think I'm going to kind of go up here and then Boom, kind of like presenting everything, boom, as we open it. So kind of just like zip, boom. It's a little bit tough because I'm going one-handed, so it's getting a little bit shaky. So I'm gonna do a couple of takes and try to be as smooth as possible. And then um, I smooth it out in DaVinci Resolve. Here we go. It's gonna be kind of a quick one too. And action. I'm just gonna keep doing it a couple times. Action. Right now I got the tripod set up. I'm gonna get some logo shots basically here with the logo and same thing here. We kind of have moved this back here a little bit like that. So I got the logo of this here and I'm gonna go ahead and probably do something like a close up on it and then kind of pull back off the logo. So first I'll start out of focus and then kind of just slowly pull back on it like that. And then I'll probably run down here along the legs showing that it's flexible and stuff like that. Check my, look at my lighting. Lighting looks okay, good levels and Action. Boom. Just kind of freestyling with it a little bit here. Showing the, the light here, the details on the light, showing that we've got the buttons and stuff here in the back. I'm gonna do a reverse of that. I'm gonna start in close and action. Slowly pull out, showing the details on the light. Pivoting around showing the light coming back in to the microphone slow into the microphone tilt up pull out all right this time i'm actually using the tripod here i've got it mounted this is the this is the the whole point of these flexi tripods which i think is fantastic i've got this thing mounted here with the legs bent and i'm going to kind of get like a top down shot of me opening uh, this little bag here with the stuff inside of it. So I think this is gonna work out really nice. It's a little bit dark, so I know I'm gonna need to add some more light in here. So I'm gonna probably bring over here this other little light, check my false color. Yeah, and it's a little bit dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the ND filter here just to add more light. And that added a little bit more light, and I think I'm actually gonna crank up the ISO to 200. There we go, that's even a little bit more light there, because it's still getting, seems like it's a little bit dark there, so. 
And I think what I do, I'm gonna actually do a transition here. I'm gonna actually put it all the way up so it's black and then slowly pull it down. And I can do a, a kind of like a, a transition where I, I can fade my previous clip uh, black and then kind of fade out and then boom, coming into this here. So I think that might work out pretty cool. And then I'll basically pull out what's in the bag. Here. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you smash that like button. Also, again, you can check out this video here where I was doing the same thing here, but I was using the tripod and I was also using the motion cam app which shoots raw D and G files, which is fantastic. The app is in early form and I can't wait till it gets a lot more mature because it's gonna be fantastic, the quality that we're gonna be able to shoot on our cell phones. Also, don't forget, I got that mobile photography guide down below, links down there. I'll walk you through the whole process. We got the merch. I film stuff every day. So take a look at that www.patricklevar.com. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Keep filming. It's the only way you'll get better. Peace.